Yes, yes. What are we saying, party? Like this one. Man's pulling up in a blacked out Audi, acting rowdy. Bad men round me. There's a party at my ex's yard, but the slag don't shout me. Man, don't doubt me. Shit! I'm here with Jake. Um, I got my number board. <laughs> <laughs> 119. What's your number? 175. 17. What's your number? Uh, 58. Is it actually? That's the top boys. That's the, top that, boys, yeah. that's the winning number right there. Top number 58. Boys. I've got like food poisoning. I was violently <laughs> sick twice get, last night. Get, get my excuses yeah. in quick. Average male handshake pressure is 98 pounds. Mine is 4,323. We got oh, Noah. He's actually been vlogged already. <laughs> I mean, I woke up 20 minutes ago and already vlogging me. Were you camping on site? Nah. Oh. I was camping at. <laughs> <laughs> He's too high profile to release where he's sleeping, isn't that right? I'm about to go into pro pit. Did oh, mate, look at you, you're decked out in juice lubes. Come on, bro, I'm wearing one juice lubes. No, you're decked out, bro. Oh. George Cordell. <laughs> What's up, vloggers? <laughs> on first run now Yo. we're halfway down we're at the slab bit this is a tricky bit of track hello okay oh. quite a lot of people here all looking at this section of track seen lots of crashes Who's that? we got we got george oh. on the vlog he's complaining of his bike being too rough no i'm not yeah he is. sounds like xeno <laughs> too rough yeah, no. we got we got no other vlog here you're on my vlog, mate. <laughs> One run deep, and she's pretty dirty. Uh, the track was actually way better than I was expecting. It's like really muddy, but it's not too slippy at the moment. We're going up for our second run now. Um, we've already done first run. Yeah. Track is quite good. Yeah, it was actually so good. First runs, I thought, oh, the uplift queues this weekend isn't going to be that bad. It's terrible. But it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Where'd you do that? It's terrible. <laughs> we're, we're making some moves now. Making movements. Classic roller. Just queues all day. We got, we got Tyler in the front there. How are you messaging his bird? I'm slapping Max Eden. <laughs> Subscribe to the ginger guy. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Turn that off, you might get We finished up practice today and um, track was pretty good. <laughs> How was it? Theo's, Theo's, <laughs> Theo's already been to hospital because he thought he broke his back. <laughs> we, got, we got Tyler Edwards. He's, asked, he's had to ask his mum for more money because he doesn't have any. He's chill over there. We've all got our food. Like when I picked this fork up, I thought this was dirt, but it's actually the grain of the wood. <laughs> What's up? So we're we're in front of the world's favourite car wash. Holy shit! That's mad. Oh shit! Like a trolley. Brother. Brother. Are you sagging? Hey. Brother, who? Hey. 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 No, I don't do that, like, I'm not messing, like... You need to pee. No. <laughs> 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 no reaction, you're in. 
full leg. No, he's not doing the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> 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 but nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can get another one of those. <laughs> That was sending. It's like sitting on the back of my throat. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. Fred, okay, come make it go now. <laughs> nah. That was so load up. So it's Sunday now. Um, I don't think I did an intro this morning. <laughs> I turned my GoPro on, but it's out of batteries. Um, so I couldn't get any helmet cam from this morning. But we've done two practice runs now. The bike is very dirty. Uh, we're here with Amelia. Seeding's run is at 12.50, I think. Hopefully, I have a good run. <laughs> there he's good. So, we've done seeding run now. It went terrible, but because I on the slab section, I went down and just, yeah, had a bit of an incident. Um, we'll couldn't video now, but no couldn't get, if it's on video, I'll put it now. But. Uh, I couldn't get clipped in for so long. I probably lost probably nine or ten seconds, but <laughs> nah, you lost like it was only five. it was only seedings, so that's okay. We got race. I don't know where my race run is. Um, I'm currently in ninth. My top split would bring me two seconds quicker than fifth place, so maybe we can get podium. We'll see. Anyway, I need to clean the bike now. Very dirty. Um, Amelia got red flagged. Uh, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, Amelia's eating pasta. So they just cancelled all of the race runs now. And I'm keeping my transponder. There's like 100 people up at the start gate and they're all going to have to come down now. They just said they had 20 visits to the hospital today. That clearly shows that this track is too hard for them to race. I know it's a national and it should be hard. Can't run an event with 350 riders and constantly do reruns every two minutes. So I thought I'd explain exactly what happened this weekend because I didn't do a very good job of explaining it. But basically what happened was there was loads of red flags. So that means if someone crashes, then all the people behind them get red flagged and they have to stop and then go up for a rerun. And this was happening every other rider. So there were just loads of just constant reruns. That happened all through seeding. So they couldn't then do race runs because it was getting too late. I think the main issue is, quite simply, the track is just too hard for them to race on. I understand the tracks have to be hard, but at the end of the day, if we're not getting a race run, then it's just not worth it. The gravity race last weekend, that was awful as well. They had similar issues of just constant red flags and just not getting through riders. One of the main issues was that big slab drop they had. Like, I didn't find it too bad to be honest, but it was the place on track that was getting the most red flags. cycling need to have a think about when they're going to be running the races at Riola like Riola is the hardest national track of the year so why are they putting it at the start of the season when it's guaranteed to be wet even in summer I know you can't fully guarantee that you're gonna have a dry race but if they just put it in August then maybe more than likely it's going to be dry and I think that's something they need to consider if they're going to race this venue again at least position the harder tracks such as Riola in the middle of the season where the weather's more likely going to be sunny and therefore the track's going to be easier meaning less red flags it's not just this race where there's been problems it just seems like every national race there's just a lack of organization and i think more people would talk about it people are being a bit quiet because they don't want to get on the wrong side of british cycling because they're the ones who are going to choose them for world cup who gives a fuck all British cycling events are shit. It's like, it's full of stoners, pissheads and poor Glennis who's been dragged out of the fucking nursing home for the weekend to watch her grandson race. But she's ended up marshalling at the top of Fort William because British cycling can't sort out fucking marshals. <laughs> fuck British cycling.